Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and about a year or so ago, I made a video called My Favorite Failed Print. And that favorite failed print was this 3D printed ukulele. And the reason why it was a failure to me is because I couldn't get it to, well, function properly. And it was not the fault of the designer. It was due to the lack of tuning on my 3D printer that did not get the parts to be as accurate as they needed to be. So in the end, things just didn't work out. But at that time, it was my biggest 3D printing project that I had ever tried to do. And I wanted to go back and try it again at some point in the future. And I also said that in that video. And now today is that day where I give this a second try and I do have to thank JLC 3DP for helping me get this off the ground again. I've done some videos in the past that shows off some of the 3D printing techniques that JLC 3DP does, including MJF, SLS, resin printing, and they do some other things as well. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave a link down in the description, or you can just go to JLC3DP.com and check out all their different offerings. So I do want to thank them for helping me get this off the ground. Now, let me show you the different parts that I got. First, the body of the ukulele, which I did print myself because I wanted to get a two-tone color effect. So I printed this body on the Bamboo Lab A1 with the AMS light with a green body with just some white highlights on top. So this took about eight and a half hours with the standard quality settings with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. No supports necessary. If you're interested in these files, I'll also leave a link down in the description for that. Nothing requires supports, all right? And you can fit this on a printer that has a bed size of like 220 millimeters. So you don't need a huge bed to print these things out, but this is a look at the body. Now, some of the parts from JLC 3DP that I had them do includes this neck here. This is a red neck made out of PLA. And I wanted to just get some really just interesting colors. This is probably going to be the tackiest looking soprano ukulele you have ever seen in your life. And I am just fine with that. So we've got this neck part here. And I didn't just want it to be made out of uh, PLA and PETG. So I opted to print some of these parts with the selective laser centering technique. And basically selective laser centering is a process where a layer of, in this case, nylon powder is just laid down across the bed. And then this laser is going to outline the geometry of the shape of the object that I want. And it's going to heat it up to the point where it it melts, it creates a layer, and then that powder gets pushed off, some more powder gets pushed on, and then the process continues. So the fretboard here is made out of nylon using that process. And if you can take a look at it, it is super nice. It is very, very nice. It has a slight, slight texture to it. It's indicative of this kind of material, but it looks so good. And it's nice and strong too. So I got that done for the fretboard. And then some of the other parts include this middle bracket for the neck. Uh, this one I believe was done in uh, PETG, this black part right here. And then for some of the other parts that were done with the SLS method, there's some of the smaller parts and that includes the bridge and the saddle. They have them inside of these little plastic bags here. So I have that. This here is a bolt that's going to go into the neck that connects to the body. This was done with SLS as well with that nylon. I've got the saddle here also made of nylon and then the tuning pegs as well also made with nylon. And these are all black right here. So I've got that going for me. And then inside of this little baggie here are these uh, little PETG, kind of like little screw type prints that's gonna go into the neck so I can be able to screw it down and the tuning pegs. But basically, that's all. That's all that I have. Oh, and also, almost forgot to mention these tensioning strips that's also going to go inside of the neck. Seems like a lot, but it shouldn't be too difficult to put together. I've done this once before. I'm sure I can do it again. Only tools that I'm going to need for this 
is going to be this little small flathead screwdriver and then an Allen wrench that's of some size. I don't know exactly what size, but I got a bunch of them. So I'll figure out which one works. And uh, yeah, also have some strings as well. So I'm gonna get started putting all this together and uh, hopefully everything works out swimmingly. All right, so that did not go the way that I was expecting. Unfortunately, this is now my second failed attempt at making a 3D printed ukulele. And it's a failure now for different reasons than it was about a year or so ago. Um, apologies if you can hear the fan, it's pretty hot in here and I'm hot on the inside too. So basically what made this a failure, it's not the way that the parts were designed and it is not due to the parts that I got from JLC 3DP, not at all. So here's what happened. First, everything was going together really, really nicely. I mean, everything was syncing up great. I mean, look at this thing. I think this is a cool ukulele, but here's what happened. It all had to do with the bridge, this part down here. Now, I printed out these bridge bolts and they were supposed to be printed in PETG. The thing is, I have yellow PETG and I have yellow PLA, both on cardboard spools. I printed the PLA thinking that I printed PETG. So when I was screwing these bolts in, eventually the torque split them in half and they made it so that the lower half was just stuck in these holes. And I was like, oh my God, how can I have done something so stupid? So I thought about it for a little bit and I was like, you know, with guitars and some other, and ukuleles usually, they don't screw in the bridges, they glue the bridges down. And I may not have high glue sitting around here, but I did have some pretty darn impressive glue and some accelerator. And I thought, I'm just gonna glue the bridge on here and maybe that will solve the problem. So I glued the bridge on, it was nice and sturdy. I put everything together, I was tuning everything up, everything held firm. I played one G chord and bam, the bridge came flying off this thing. The, the, the pressure, the tension from these four strings being put upon that bridge, it was too much for the glue. It ripped the bridge clean off my beautiful nylon bridge. So I thought about it some more and I grabbed a drill and I started drilling inside here, trying to get rid of the remnants of the bolts that had split. I was able to drill cleanly two out of the three holes where the bridge bolts are supposed to go and they just fell right out. I was able to get them out of here and unfortunately for this hole right here that still had the first um, PLA bolt that got broken off, it's almost like the sides are fused to the inside thread so I wasn't able to get that cleanly out but I got two out of the three. So what I did was I printed a new bridge out of PTG high flow from Bamboo Lab and I printed out three more bridge bolts just to see if I could do it. I couldn't get the bridge bolt down inside here but I did get two bridge bolts inside of these, uh, of these last two holes and I went to tighten up the strings and then the bolts themselves from the pressure of the strings they ripped in half and left them just like this. The bridge is still intact, like no damage to the bridge, but those bolts ripped right off, ripped right off. So now I can't get this out of here. 
I can't get this out. Now with those bolts freshly ripped out of these holes, I don't think I'll be able to drill these through and get lucky and have it come out clean like I did before. So now I am just at a loss because you need a bridge. You need a bridge to put on here and I just can't get it done. So I guess with this first ukulele, this is also PETG and clearly as you can see, like these were not ripped up. But then again, this was like regular PETG that you print nice and slowly. And I was using this high flow PETG for, uh, for this and um, I guess based on this unscientific comparison, it seems like the high flow PTG may not be as strong as the regular non high flow PTG. Maybe, I don't know, but I debated whether or not I was going to even do this video because the thought of having two failed ukuleles is like, man, that really, really sucks. But I guess when it comes to the whole, you know, maker space and doing stuff like this and printing things out and just trying to complete a project is not always going to go good and sometimes it just takes multiple tries to get it right i wish i would have gotten it right the first time it didn't work out and unfortunately it didn't work out this time either so back to the drawing board i guess but it's it's a cool looking ukulele and uh these parts from jlc 3dp i mean they were just really really nice so Fortunately, I can't play anything for you on this one, but thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you wanna get some cool 3D printed parts using different methods, check out the link in the description. JLC 3DP will treat you right. So from now, I'm just going to uh, mourn and uh, I'll give this a shot again sometime in the future. So we'll see part three coming up at some point. So then take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.